Hello folks, welcome to the Chartbuster series brought to you by Nicesoft Pet Solutions. In this series, we will be exploring multiple chart types, their use cases and build them using different business intelligence tools. In today's video, we will create a GOT chart using Tableau. A GOT chart's basic function is to display the maximum, the minimum and the present value of the data which is being analyzed. This chart type is often used in executive dashboard reports to show key business indicators. Here we are to help you create a GOT chart in Tableau using a custom process. We will connect to sample Superstore dataset. This dataset is provided by default when we install Tableau. From the sample Superstore, drag the order sheet to the data source pane. Now let's go to sheet 1. Did you know a GOT chart can be considered as a half donut chart where we hide the lower section of the donut? Yes, imagine a donut cut in half and the upper half makes a perfect GOT chart. So the initial steps will involve creation of a donut chart. To create a donut chart, double click on the row shelf and type 0 to create a dummy calculated field. Follow the same process and create another dummy calculated field on the row shelf. Now right click or select the drop down arrow on the second dummy field and select dual axis. On the marks card, select the chart type to pi for all calculated fields. Remove the measure names from color shelf in all marks section. Change the color of the second pi to match the background color and decrease its size accordingly to create a donut. Change the view of the sheet to entire view. Now that we have created a donut chart template, let us create the calculated fields required to distribute the slices of the donut chart based on the percentage value of profit. For that, first we will create a calculated field and name it as profit percent as shown on the screen. This formula will calculate percent to total for profit over categories. Next we will create few calculated fields using the formulas as shown on the screen. Create a GOT chart, we must hide the bottom half of the donor chart using the highlighted formula. The GOT chart will require the upper half of the donor chart to display the range from 0 to 100%. In other words, we will require 180 degrees of the donor chart which will represent the whole GOT chart. In this scenario, the maximum value is 1.0, that is 100%. So, minimum of 1 will cover the bottom area of the donor chart. As you can see, half donor chart represents the composition of complete GOT chart. Let's create other calculated fields. Colored smaller than 50%. This formula calculates the area to be filled if the profit percent is smaller than 50% or if the profit percent is greater than or equal to 50%, then half of the GOT chart will be colored. Gray smaller than 50%. Similarly, this formula will subtract the percent value from 50% to differentiate it from the filled portion of the first quadrant in the pie chart. colored greater than 50%. The next formula will provide the portion to be colored for profit percent greater than 50%. For example, let us assume that we want to show 65%. So in this scenario, the first quadrant would be filled till 50%. And by using this calculated field, we would fill the remaining portion that is 65 minus 50 that equals to 15% in the second quadrant of the pie chart. Gray greater than 50%. The highlighted formula will provide us with the remaining portion in the second quadrant. For example, our value is 65%. Then this formula would cover the rest 35% area in the pie chart. Pointer 1 and pointer 2 are the two points that will be used to create a line which will resemble the needle in the gorge. 
We are halfway through. Let us start building the chart now. Put measure names into the filter and select the just created measures except profit percent. Now drag measure names into the color and measure values into angle of the pie chart in all mark section. To arrange the slices of the pie, we will rearrange the measure values in the following order. First, colored greater than 50%. Second, pointer 2. Third, gray greater than 50%. Fourth, bottom half. Fifth, colored less than 50%. Sixth, pointer 1. And seventh, gray smaller than 50%. Let us color the measure names on the all mark section. First, pointer 1 and pointer 2 as black. Second, colored smaller than 50% and colored greater than 50% as green. Gray smaller than 50% and gray greater than 50% as gray. Fourth, bottom half as white. For the finale, we will create a dummy field as shown on the screen. Dummy. This calculated field will be used to provide a different color palette to the measure names. Add this field to the detail of the inner pie on the marks card. Then change the detail icon to color icon. You will notice that the measure names and dummy have created a temporary combined field to color the inner pie and to create an arc for the God chart. Now color these temporary combined fields as pointer 1 dummy and pointer 2 dummy to black and rest of the fields to white. Add category to column shelf to create a God chart for each category. Add the category and profit percent to label and set text alignment accordingly. Here I will make a few formatting changes. You can make the changes as per your requirements. And your God chart is ready. God chart can be created in other BI tools such as MicroStrategy, Power BI, Click, and so on. These are some charts that we have created using other BI tools. If you would like to make a God chart on your business data, contact us today. To get notified about new charts, hit the bell icon and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.